Hello everyone, uh, I'm Amanveer Singh, Principal Solution Architect uh, within Telco IBU uh, AWS. Today we are going to talk about uh, modernizing Telco's workload on the cloud using AWS native uh, canvas. So what we have seen is that uh, mostly when Telco's uh, you know, take on this modernization journey, there are a few common challenges that they face. Uh, first challenge being that you know, uh, the, the cost of modernization is high because the workloads are dependent on the infrastructure, you know, very tightly coupled with the infrastructure. Uh, and in addition to the cost of modernization, even the operational cost is really high. And that is because uh, there are no standards around management, governance, uh, and monitoring of uh, the underneath infrastructure. Now, because of this high cost, many times Telco just take an approach of doing a lift and shift. And what it leads to is not using cloud native services, which diminishes the value of uh, uh, migrating to the cloud. So what we are going to show is how uh, AWS Canvas is solving these challenges that uh, telcos face in their modernization journey. So uh, in 2023, uh, TM Forum has, uh, has released ODA Canvas. And uh, the goal of ODA Canvas is actually to, uh, to enable interoperability across multiple environments. So whichever environment a workload is deployed on, it should be independent of uh, the, what the workload is. On top of that uh, reference TM from ODA Canvas, today we are actually releasing AWS native Canvas and uh, with our launch partner, Bell Canada. Uh, we, are, we, are, we will show you how uh, Canvas will use AWS native services and the value that it will derive by using AWS native services. Now the question is, uh, why AWS native services and what, do, what value does it really bring by being part of the canvas? Uh, by using AWS native services, you can really move your workload uh, as is in few clicks to AWS. And all the heavy lifting that a customer takes on, uh, like lifecycle management of a service underneath infrastructure and everything, AWS takes care of that. And not only that, uh, even your CSP's cost goes down uh, because now CSP is moving on to pay as a use model where they only pay when they use a particular service. And it also leads to operational efficiencies because many operational aspects of managed services are taken care by AWS. And last but not the least, uh, the compliance. So uh, using AWS native services, uh, it helps CSP achieve the industry compliance. Example being using CloudWatch, your data is encrypted uh, by default and uh, you can achieve that. Now, uh, with that, uh, let's walk you through a demo. Uh, I have Amol with me from Bell Canada. So he'll walk us through the demo on what Bell did and how Bell actually implemented ODA Canvas. And then we'll walk you through the architecture after that. Over to you, Amol. So here we are talking about a persona who is a Bell corporate customer. So the customer is looking for the iPhone offerings where he is using an API, TMF620, which is a product catalog. So he's bringing all the iPhone product offerings that he's interested in. Now here, he's actually selected an iPhone 15 Pro as an offering, and now he's selecting that offering and placing his order onto the Bell Marketplace, right? So on Bell Marketplace, as you click on proceed to checkout, the order get placed onto the service now, and now the service now will basically start their fulfillment journey. <clears throat> so this is the service now dashboard where you see the order details that the customer has just published from the Bell Marketplace. Now, once you have the order in the ServiceNow, ServiceNow will make a call into Amazon Bedrock to basically get some real-time recommendations of what that customer is interested in based on his interactions and based on uh, all his previous details. And those recommendations will be sent over to the email to the customer so the customer can select from one of them and add to his order. Here we are showing how those components are actually deployed and how do we get here, right? So initially, all these components were hosted on Bell native infrastructure. From there, we basically migrated it to the Bell native TMF reference implementation. Now from the TMF reference implementation, we have a reference canvas deployed. On the reference canvas, we basically deployed two components, which is TMF 620 and TMF 622. Now the TMF 620 and TMF 622 canvas deployment will be shown here now. So from there, we have, we have executed the CTK to basically show that these particular components are also CTK enabled and they are certified. Once we have proved that they are certified and compatible, we migrated them to native implementation of AWS Canvas. And now we will show you the installation of AWS Canvas 
uh, on Amazon native installation of the cloud. So here we are showing you the installation procedures of how the CTKs are installed or how the CTKs are performed on two API, which is 620 and 622. So the first API CTK that we are executing is for product catalog, which is TMS 620. So the CTK is running right now, as you can see. So once we have the CTK result, it will basically show you now the 620 API is basically TMF ready and it is ready to move to the Amazon native environment. So this is basically showing you the CTK results that what has happened, all the ex all the results that have been executed as part of the CTK script, right? So all the security scripts have been completed, all these uh, performance scripts have been completed, all the configuration scripts have been completed. This basically proves that TMS620 API is now certified, it is CTK ready, and it can be moved to the hyperscaler like AWS on the native implementation. Yes. We are going to execute the same process for a second component, which is our TMS622 API, which is the product order. Now for product order as well, we are going to execute the CTK here. And ultimately we will be seeing the CTK results again, similar to what we have shown for CMS620, right? So here, as you see, this is the CTK result that came out of 620. All the configuration components are passed, all the security components are passed, and we are going to show some of the uh, deployment component as well. So now once we have seen that all the CTK components are passed for 622, we have proved that TMS 620 and 620 22 both are now ready to be migrated to the uh, native implementation of AWS Cloud. Now moving on, we are deploying the same two components onto the native implementations of AWS Cloud. We'll be using the Cloud9 interface here in order to deploy these components. So here we are in the Cloud9 interface of Amazon's so here we are showing that the reference implementation of TMF, AW has created their own uh, native implementations on top of the reference implementation. These are all the Canvas components that already exist on the Canvas. We are going to deploy two Bell components here. One is TMS 620 and one is TMS 622, right? Now, so here if you see, now we will be basically first installing TMS 620 component, which is product catalog, which is already CTK verified. So this is the product catalog uh, canvas or component which is getting deployed onto the canvas now, which is AWS native implementation. So 620 is done. We are deploying 622. Okay, 622 is done. Now we are basically seeing the endpoints that have been exposed. So what happened in this process is we have deployed two components from the native implementations onto the Bell implementations of the canvas and then to the AWS implementation of the canvas without making any code change, without making any code differentiations. All the components are seamlessly migrated from the on-prem environment to the Bell infrastructure to the AWS infrastructures. So this basically proves that the API is now deployed onto AWS environment and API is working, right? It can be accessed publicly here. So this basically shows the output of the product API. Now we are going to look into the matrix that what this API has done, like how many APIs have been hit, what all operations have been hit on that API. So this basically shows the Grafana output of the API or the matrix of the API, what operations have been executed on that particular API front. Thank you, Amul. Uh, so uh, the demo, cool demo that uh, Amul has shown, uh, let's walk through quickly the architecture of that demo. So what Amul has shown is that uh, Bell had two components, 620 and 622, uh, which is product catalog and pro product order submission. Uh, and these components, they have actually made it ODA Canvas compliant. And once it is ODA Canvas compliant, then how seamless the migration to AWS was. And it's not only the migration to AWS, when it came to AWS, by itself, the component started using AWS native services. And one more benefit that we would like to highlight is that now that you have brought your workload to AWS, uh, you can uh, use more AWS native services like Gen AI. So he has shown the example where ServiceNow is making a call to uh, Bedrock to get recommendations and being able to cross sell and upsell. So with that, uh, we'll finish our session. Uh, and you know, you'd seen that you know how easy it is to modernize using AWS native canvas. And uh, we've shown what Bell's components can do once they're co compliant with it. Thank you.